Hey there, ladies and jelly spoons. Welcome to another Masters of Boredom tabletop stream. Uh, we are returning to the world of Call of Cthulhu. I am your host, Pantsis Aaron. With me, as always, are CJ and Augie. Uh, Augie Evening, everyone. Hello. Uh, Augie, in particular, is our game master for this particular event. Um, we're playing Call of Cthulhu 7th edition? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds right. That sounds, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> Just making sure I had that right. And uh, we defeated a Wendigo. Yeah, we did. You, Conrad's here. You Fuck did. You, uh, at slight cost of your uh, your buddy's health, but uh, he's, he's fine. fine. Jeez. Just because his insides sure. are on the outside doesn't mean he's in rough shape. He's been looking right. to loosen weight too. Why not pull out your own intestines? <laughs> yeah, I mean, doctors oh. hate it when you do this. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Uh, it's hard to be good. Well, everyone's here too. Oh, yes, don't, don't forget your coffee. Yeah. Today is a good night for coffee. Uh,. But yes, uh, I am the keeper of arcane lore, or in this case, mm -hmm. this game's DM. Mm -hmm. uh, we, as uh, Aaron had stated, we are playing Call of Cthulhu. Uh, I just confirmed it is seventh edition. Uh, it hasn't changed on us since last time I checked. Um, and uh, we had just come off them beating the Wendigo. Somehow oh. miraculously, <laughs> thanks, wow. thanks in no small part to our meat shield. Conrad, thank you so much for. Uh... Oh, dude, bits. thank you so much. Wow. Seven Cthulhu check. <laughs> oh, you see? Uh, I was going to say, we haven't set it up yet so you can buy Cthulhu with bits yet, but it's, it's a feature that's on the way. <laughs> Believe it or Cthulhu not. Cthulhu just like, gets out of bed, makes, well, and, 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 makes a piss, and then goes back to bed. <laughs> yeah, for now, instead of Cthulhu, we have a, a hyper dimension, like multi dimensional door here that just. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. It's it's the door of holding. Once you go into the bathroom, you can never leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's additional security for the whack off room. There it is. Oh. <laughs> so as just, you can see, just testing the system, eh? Yeah. <laughs> as you can see, uh, tabletop kind of yes. simulator is uh, top notch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, flawless. Yeah, that's a, yeah. If this was Shadowrun, that'd be really dangerous. That, that's um, that's the death room. <laughs> that's the death room right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, where we left off, um, they had just defeated the Windigo. Um, just because of a as a quick montage, just so we don't have to go through the step by step. Uh, our investigators had brought Wilbur Smirnoff to the nearest hospital, where he will be medically treated and will survive. Uh, in the meantime, though, he had handed off both his 10-gauge uh, shotgun and his keys to his uh, shop to the investigators so that they can make use of it uh, during his absence. Yes. Yes. So he's probably going to be in the hospital for, what, at least a month? Uh, give or take. His injuries were pretty bad. Yeah. They would have been life-threatening had you not succeeded on your check. Oh, that's right. I did do a little medicine check. I, I think I put a tourniquet around his neck, so his brain should be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you put the yeah, organs gonna, back in the right gonna, order. Like a uh, operation. Put him into a jar. and <laughs> like a, Put his intestines back in like a Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> that was oh. about right. It was like a game of operation. You managed to not hit the sides when you put them all back in. Um, so you're good to go. Uh, but to start off, uh, you did have some successful skill checks during your adventure there in the uh, Indian Lake Woods. So feel kind free of. to go ahead and attempt to make an improvement. All Aaron, right. I believe in you. So, Come on. Yeah, right. Um, so we'll start with firearms. Tick. Yes. I need a 68 or higher to improve them. The blue is the 10s and the black is the 1s as per usual. Oh, oh. Was so close to being 84 that would have done it uh, all right next up is sleight of hand which I have a 70 in it's even harder 
Oh, oh buddy, he does this. Oh, buddy. buddy. He does this. Buddy, that, all right, let's get that. that let's get, let's get that sleight of hand score way up. All right, I'll take three points, I guess. Hey, three's, three's all right. It's not a one. That is. Yeah, and yeah, this is true. Spot hidden, which dude, dude, like dude, dude, almost better than 50 50 odds, but in this game, it's like uh, it's still managed to pass. So uh, let's see how much uh, better I can improve spot hidden here. I've got new glasses. <laughs> Two points. I've dropped my new glasses. I swear to God, why do I even bother? Hey, uh, hey, two right. points at a time is something, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why don't you show me how it's done? You I would like to, but I'm not points. gonna. Uh, um, firearms, rifle, shotgun. You're as good as uh, with a rifle as I am with a handgun. Knock it out. Well, son. let's let's give it a shot. Knock it out, son. No, oh, oh look, yeah. at that. look at let's that. Look at that. That's how All you right. do it. Let's uh, let's see if we can get a, a decent roll here. Ah, oh, it's uh, almost ten. It's almost ten. Four is still good though. Four I will take. So that is firearms one, two, three, and four. I'll uncheck that. Mm -hmm. uh, first aid could first use a little aid, improvement. Yeah, it needs seventy though. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. Ninety or ninety-six, depending on how you want. To and I'll take either one. one. Either one passes. So why don't you go ahead and? All right. To improve some medicine mm. by one well that's yep. that's how the cookie crumbles i'm sorry that that was my fault for watching the die roll i, I mean <laughs> it's i mean it, to be honest your roll is pretty high as is for that so. yeah yeah i am I'm, oh. I'm definitely definitely happy about our uh, library use we could certainly use a little bit of that because our our r and d is lacking most of the r and or d oh that wasn't gonna pass and then it did very well done nice all right, All right. Well, let's uh, let's improve some library skills. Yeah, three points. Take three. I'll take three. It's all right. I can read words good or now. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, spot hidden, I believe. Oh yeah, my spot hidden's abominable. <laughs> Forty. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Wish you luck. Nope. I do not have the luck. Nope. I mean, you that's got, all right. You got points and everything else, so that's not. Yeah. That's not yeah. Good. I will take it. All in all, not bad. I also picked up shotgun and uh, keys to a building with all the stuff we possibly need to retire. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. You got your 10 gauge or uh, Wilbur's 10 gauge, and then you've got a key to a hunting and fishing shop. You know, I bought, I bought those bear traps and I didn't use them. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> true, true, true. But you still have them for a rainy day. So what are these? I didn't really points? run to a spot where I could set them safely and not, you know, and not get jumped. Yeah. Yeah. What do these channel points options do again, Blood Wolf? Well, if you if you hover over each of them, it will explain. I think, or no, you have to click them. Yeah, you have to click them. Yeah, click I'm, them. I'm actually gonna make a little then... spreadsheet and put it on our uh, Discord page for everybody. Okay. For reference, but uh, yeah, if you click on them, it will tell you what they all do. They're set up for for you know one maybe two uses per person per. Uh, episode that way we're not just constantly re-rolling and stuff but, yeah they're not they're yeah. not necessarily spammable so just keep nope. that in mind nope they are not some can only but we want to give everybody a chance period, to participate so, yes. yeah but yeah if you, there's if only you, one summoning a cthulhu per match if you'd like to help or hinder you may do you may do exactly that yes so. yes indeed really looking forward to this <laughs> don't worry everyone loves us uh -huh. I, uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, after you've basically successfully um, both ended what would have been a very dangerous creature to allow to roam the woods, but also uh, solve the uh, case of the missing person, they seem uh, the missing persons weren't just disappearing in the woods, they were getting or changed by the Wendigo. Uh, it is very likely that the uh, praxies that you killed were some of the missing persons that had gone to the woods and then became the proxy. Okay. All right. Well, that works for me. So we still have all of the doctor's notes that we found in the cabin, right? Uh, yes. I feel like maybe we should take those to our contact at Arkham. All right. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, 
I uh, kind of felt that way too. Since he did so much research on a, a you know, mythical creature. All right, fair enough. Uh, take. See if we can get a little quid pro quo action here. Gotcha. Or maybe he'll give us something for it. Or it's possible he'll exchange one thing for another thing. You're, you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There might be a mutual the trade. <laughs> Perhaps I will give him something and he will give me something. Perhaps. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Ark. We appreciate that. So, anyways, uh, so uh, you charter a bus to uh, back to Arkham. Mm hmm. It's only a couple hours drive, uh, and when you get there, dropped off in a bus station that's relatively near to where the library is, you head over to the library, it's open, uh, and the librarian there uh, rec that you recognize uh, mm -hmm. is like, oh, good, you've returned. How uh, goes your investigation? Mm. Well, uh, We've definitely come across some interesting things, haven't we? Yeah, Art? we've got something for you. Uh, how about you have a look at this? And he uh, goes over and, he go and he's just like, oh, my word, that is, that is, well, that explains why I haven't heard from this gentleman in a long while. Um, he goes, but I see that his work has, is nearly done. Uh, this is perfect. This, this information will hopefully assist other uh, investigators in the future, should yeah. they ever come across another one of these. Well, yeah. uh, the one we ran into is plumb dead now, so... Yes, Good. Uh, yes, uh, that's should, quite, that's, quite uh, deceased. That's fantastic. Shouldn't have to deal with that anymore. Nearly took one of us out, but he he's uh, he's recuperating. In uh... well, not not only is it good that the uh, the good professor here not only uh, had thought of a way of defeating it, but that you are also able to test it to confirm that it worked. Yeah, yeah, that's, it that's it doesn't, confirmed. In a lot of cases, it doesn't always work. <laughs> They told me silver bullets would kill it. It just made it mad. Yeah. Every, yeah, now, and then, one, every now and then, one of those prophecies is pure <laughs> bullshit. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, I know that that's extremely true. And uh, and here's a coupon to the new uh, bait and tackle shop I own. Uh, it's under new ownership. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, I am uh, assuming you are not just here to hand this information to me. Uh, I'm no, assuming you wish to I would... receive some information. I just want to. I just want to touch the cover of the Necronomicon. I know you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, can I just? Can I just smell the binding? I was gonna say, with with what body part do you want to touch it? <laughs> like, he's like, I can point in the direction of where it is. Oh, they have that certainly under lock and key here. Yeah. Um we um we're... <laughs> yeah exactly does the gm oh yeah if the gm has it so does this guy don't worry yeah yeah 100 percent. i have it Arkham. um we were we were interested if you could provide some information with um <laughs> the the uh business dealings in the area and uh anything you have on the lighthouse on the coast Oh, alrighty. And it goes, uh, he's like, uh, give me just a little uh, time to see what I can compile. I'll go through uh, what I've got organized. And then, we'd, be, uh, we'd be interested in the, the lineage of the area. Right, right. So he will go ahead and do that for you and look up the lineage of the area. Um, if you'd want to do a library check as well, see if you maybe you can pick mm -hmm. up on anything. Sure. More than sure. welcome to do that. Give you an I've, I've been to the library. I bought my card. I've done library. Oh, 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 oh I did bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't... doctor. I got I... a fifth success. <laughs> I can't find any books in the library. <laughs> <laughs> so, Obadiah I'm literally outside is... of the building now going, where the hell is the book? <laughs> Obadiah's in the kids' section. <laughs> Obadiah's in the kids' section. <laughs> the Paka Book of Horrors. 
Arcana and you. <laughs> Everybody summons Cthulhu next to the Everyone Poops book. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Don't worry, Obi. I think I found something. I'm I'm glad I'm glad the learned one. So <laughs> so so Obadiah is 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 more obsessed with trying to find the Necronomicon than he is mm. any actual information. I'm, relative I'm, I'm moving all the books on the shelf, hoping to open a secret passage. No, <laughs> yeah. no. And uh, uh, but Ark, uh, you happen across a, a a local history book that would pertain to the Nargigansat uh, area. Mm -hmm. uh inside the book it speaks a lot about how um back in the pull up the actual time that way i'm not having to spitball it that bad uh back in the uh 1740s um there was a large influx of of dutch immigrants um during the time where the british were still uh in control of the new world and you know and there were just a handful of colonists and um that the uh around where black point is but not quite where black point is was one of the original villages that were kind of built up Hmm. it was a uh, there was a uh they had a church kind of centralized to it as most yield and buildings did yeah yeah yeah, and then uh, after after some time, um, a as things kind of moved along, the lighthouse was built, and then a town closer to said lighthouse was then built, which is as you know now as Black Point. Gotcha. So the but outskirts kind of used to be the old original village. Yes. Okay. In fact, uh, what had happened was that the outskirts, in a way, end up getting abandoned as the town got closer to the water allowing it to be more accessible for like mm. trade and travel okay <clears throat> and if you want to do a if you both want to do a uh i mean this is actually really simple the first thing that comes to mind is those ruins you saw yeah in the wood right thinking back at it now those ruins could have been the old church Right. Yeah, that makes sense to me too. Mm-hmm. I don't know how excited I am about going back to that area, but well, I mean, you Ooh. clear out the biggest threat, so. <laughs> or we killed out its smallest youngling. You don't know. But yeah, I, I I suppose we could. I mean, I would think if there was anything to find there, they would probably have been found by now. But what do you think, Ark? Would you like to check that out, or would you like to go to the lighthouse itself? I suppose it wouldn't hurt. All right. Well, let me put this book that I'm holding upside down because I can't read apparently. <laughs> away. <laughs> There's right. no pictures in this. I don't want it. All right. So combine that information with what the librarian finds, which okay. goes into more detail of um, not just the original town. The original town's name is was lost to the ages. Um, as it more or less got vampirized to build the new one closer to the uh, <laughs> the water. Um, I gotcha. but, but in terms of timeline, it was the original village, then the lighthouse, then the town, and the mansion. Interesting. Uh, the timeline would be about the village was the 1740s, the town and the lighthouse was about the 1740s, 50s, 60s area. This uh, 1770s was about where the mansion was, and based on information that you picked up uh, before, you know that it was eventually kind of used as a makeshift hospital during the uh, the war between uh, the British and the colony. A little triage station. Yeah, and then later used again during the American Civil War. Mm. Uh, so many years later. Gotcha. You're, you're right, Blood Wolf. It sounds like a Swedish metal band. <laughs> we are lost to the ages. But uh, as uh, but in turn, uh, from your original question of like what the lineage of the area is, or 
what was most it seemed yeah. to be a more more or less uh, a heavy dutch populated okay. area. <clears throat> okay dutch germanic teutonic whatever you want to call it yeah yeah this is central europe yeah I guess it'd be Eastern Europe, but anyway. Um, all right. Do you want to do you want to check out the church first, or do you want to check out the lighthouse first? Church first. All right. Do, does my does my new shop have dynamite? Uh, go ahead and roll. For... <laughs> no, don't let me roll for dynamite. <laughs> roll for dynamite. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin everything you planted with dynamite. No, I'm not. I'm, there's no dynamite. <laughs> Something that dangerous would not be. I, I you, cannot you, be trusted not, with dynamite. I promise you. You you would not find that in a hunting shop. I'll tell you that much. Depends on what you're hunting. Yeah. True. True. It's great for fishing. True. You just throw it in there, and they all float to the surface. And you just go around with the net. Uh, so you make your way back to Black Point, and then you make your way uh using um Wilbur's vehicle, by the way. Uh back up to he won't be using it not for a while uh back up to uh <laughs> what you call it uh the woods um upon entering the woods it seems more tranquil than it was before you don't get this you don't get the feeling of being stuck uh it feels like just a nice comfortable walk through the woods and you just kind of retrace the steps that you remember back to ruins as soon there we go I was having a hard time finding it. It gets tough when you have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I, I did that on purpose, though. I wanted to make it as jarring as possible. So minus the creepy fog here. I mean, it could be foggy. I mean, fog is just fog. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you return back to uh, the ruin. Oh. Right. Uh, <laughs> we just watch, watch the walls dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Smack. It's fine. Smack. It's fine. Uh, okay, so um, should we take a look around? We're quite sure. Do you know exactly what we're looking for? Um, I imagine that we're looking for a secret entrance to some sort of... Most most ancient churches had basements and sometimes sub-basements. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to uh, see if we can find that. I mean, there's just as much of a chance as it collapsed on itself, so... Right. Hello, oh, silent one. Oh, Heart. Heart, heart. So, uh, if you'd like to, you can attempt can't. to search. I would like to it. molest this <laughs> uh, thing here and see if I can get it to do stuff. I will spot hidden over in the corner somewhere. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and try. Nope! Bloody bloody blah 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 <laughs> ninety nine blah 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 uh, now that now that you've uh <laughs> now that you learned a little bit more about the location, you think it's a it's an interesting historical site, if nothing else. There's lots of rock here. I did you know what? As long as one of us isn't an idiot for each <laughs> roll, it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine as long as one of us doesn't completely botch it every single roll. Uh all right, I, I managed to succeed. How did we both manage to completely botch? Like, Save that 99 know. for leveling up, damn it. I know, right? Uh, so, know. You so you that succeeded. Out. Very good, very good. Yes. So, um, what I think, you find... I, I think we have to find a heart key so we can get into the heart door mm. and then find the spade key. Yep, yep. And then there's a couple of talismans. Yeah, you need the wolf metal and the eagle metal to get to the basement. I found the ancient. I found the name of this ancient town was Capcom. So, uh, among the artifacts that you find as you're kind of like rummaging around, digging through the grass and the dirt, uh, some stuff that's kind of like sticking out of the dirt that might have come up during a rainstorm or something like that. Um, you don't find anything of too much interest you find like basically you would find what you would find in a church in the back of the day like old pottery some find. chalices stuff like that yeah so just so just some random stuff um you do see occasional you see like what looks like little scratches of scripture on the on the walls but mm -hmm. you don't believe that they're anything original you think maybe it was people that happened through here kind of you know graffitiing up the place as people often 
graffitiing with scripture? Well, they're like scratching. They, well, I mean, like, if this was a Catholic things. church and some Protestants come through, they might be like, ha ha ha. Mm. Right. But, I um, guess. And maybe I guess. like, 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 not. I, I, I use the wrong terminology of scripture. More like just scribble. Okay. <laughs> How about that? Scribble. Scribble's better. Yeah. And then like claw marks and stuff like that from animals and probably once was the Wendigo kind of thing. So poor Wendy. Is there is there uh yeah, I miss Wendy. Um, <laughs> um I can bring him back. <laughs> wait, Wendy, Wendy misses the top of his skull. Um <laughs> is it, no no pass. Pass. Um it, are there any are there any marks on the ground like something's recently been moved? I wonder if there's catacombs that attached to the new town. Who knows? Um, if there ever was, it has far been caved in on and right. just grown over. Uh, you you would have to literally start digging in random locations right. to even begin to look for this stuff. Right. Are there any Should... bricks that are obviously a different color than the rest of the bricks? <laughs> like the no. animator knows that that's the brick that's going to move to open the reveal the secret <laughs> passage? No. Not that you can see it. Should we go all of, all of them are weathered and, hmm. and whatnot. So. Should we go explore the Wendigo cave? Uh, yeah. Maybe that's where the wolf medallion is that we need. I don't, it's, it's worth a shot. I mean, there's lots of bodies in here, so what if maybe we should thoroughly search the bodies now that it's no longer, you know, imminent doom, hopefully? Yeah, now, now that it's not dangerous and, and Wilbur's not relying on us to save his life, we can actually yeah. take our time and look around. They could have a could have a journal on them or something like that. Should we spot hidden again? Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Something better should we than succeed 99. this time? 29, I'll take. That's a success. Hey, that's all right. Oh, I almost hit. A, I almost hit a twelve. Wow. I do bad. I do bad. I do good. All right. Well, as long as one of us is on point. Yeah. Uh, you find shredded clothing. Uh, if there was anything left of use or anything like note wise, uh, it ain't on their person no more. So. I so rolled it, bad. I'm over here licking the uh, wall. In terms of other things, uh, you can kind of see that maybe people had come in here at some point. Mm. Possibly the same people who brought upon the Wendigo. Uh, mm. There are some like little carvings of just people, like you know, kind of like just carvings you see of just like people, and then like maybe some uh, esoteric shit. Are they are the bodies arranged ritualistically or anything? Or no, just a pile no. It, it okay. looks it looks like they were literally just thrown in a pile after being consumed, more okay. or less. So, all right. Um, and this individual over here must yeah. have took refuge in the cave without knowing what was in here. And this cave will keep me safe from the rainstorm. <laughs> yeah, got lost in a cave. Thought it was safe in here, and then happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time so Fair. um is is this area over here like another cave or uh that's the area to where the ritual site was oh okay should we go through there yeah i suppose we should i don't i don't i don't see anything remarkable here oh sorry sorry pardon me pardon. Ah. <clears throat> Uh-oh, I just see. noticed the clock is on. Hmm? Oh, it's just the normal time. <laughs> it's left over from... Uh, fair <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just always on military time, so... Okay, there we go. Ah! This uh, looks but, familiar. But yeah, uh, the um, objects that were on the pedestals look burnt up in a way. Like, mm. they're basically unusable. Right, they too um, but, were consumed in the ritual. Yeah, and uh, but the ritual runes and everything like that that were on the center of this platform here are dissipated and gone. Mm -hmm. So any any magic that was here or any otherworldly going-ons are now right. completely dissipated. 
Interesting. Right. Let's look for uh, evidence of either the people who summoned the Wendigo here, or um, you know, the uh, the groups from the uh, from the. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for here. Like I'm yeah. just scrambling for uh, the 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 Dutch people, I guess, from the yeah from the beginning times. I don't even know how to talk anymore. I just <laughs> From from the beginning, beginning time, the Dutch people from the beginning times. <laughs> That's how we're referring to them for the rest of the fucking series. From the before times, I don't know Every... the the ancestors who settled this place. Yeah. You know anything? Yeah. yeah. And maybe maybe evidence of that church, if, if at all possible. <laughs> is is the archway tech? I mean, obviously we're we're using SS from TTS, but. Um, yeah. Is is the architecture in this room of similar design in stone uh, to the church? Uh, yes, actually. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously they look similar, but that doesn't mean they are. So, um, okay. It could be all that's left of it, but let's see what we I can just... find. How how far right, away go, is go the ahead church and do one more from here? Search. How far away is the church from here? From here, yeah. Like, is this like tremendously far? Or... No, no. It's basically okay. just like right outside. <laughs> How in the cradle of civilization? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I got another fifth percentage. Okay, yeah. and I I succeeded again, which means that we automatically win. I'm pretty sure when we both <laughs> yeah. actually fucking. Yeah, you win. win. You oh, win. Oh, you rolled you Jordan. Um, yeah. You win. Yeah. So but, uh, I'm. We're going to put our two brain cells together and get something. So over on this pillar here, you do see uh, what looks like a thing of stone uh, dislodged at the bottom. Oh, like a, a relief? Hmm. Sure. Can I try and pry it free? Yeah, it doesn't take much. Um, it's very it's very loose. It must have got knocked out either during the fight or as over time or on the rocks eroded. So as you do, there is a hollow, uh, kind of like a hollow box side uh, with a mostly unreadable parchment, except for one. Hmm. Uh, is it a language that we can read? Or decipher? Uh, you could potentially decipher a... Well, I guess, I guess what I'm asking is, is it like Latin or is it, you know? It's it's not Latin that you've ever seen. Yeah, well, that's that that doesn't make the list very long. But there is a word in it that you recognize. Um, okay. What is the word? So, it so, reads. That's not a very good, exciting word. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, so. <laughs> If you were to pronounce it, uh, it would make like, your head explode phonetically. Yeah, yeah, like make your head explode. But if you were to pronounce it, it would be along the lines of "femaga eye greed, felen ga." This looks like something that some sort of fish man would use mm. for language. Mm -hmm. um, but I the word that you recognize is greed. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Greed. Why would something about a 2000s Fox game show be appearing here? Right. <laughs> it wasn't even a very good show. Oh, I mean, the game was okay, but Chuck Woolery was just not the best host for that show. Agreed. Um, what if? Um, we should take all these parchments. I wonder mm. if uh, I wonder if some sort of uh, book restoration can be done on the parchment. Maybe some can be discerned by illuminating it from the backside or something like that. Mm. I feel like that'd be but, some real world research to see if that can actually be done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's take it back and you know. Um, yeah. Next get... time we head out to uh, Arkham, Arkham, we can we take it with, it with us. us. Yeah. 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 You want to go cause shenanigans at the uh, at the lighthouse, huh? Uh, I guess. What what did what is tipping us off to the lighthouse again? So, so keep in mind, you did set up a, uh, and it is it is technically this night, if you wish, a candlelight tour of the mansion. 
Yeah, that's right. That's right. We do have a mansion to visit. Mm, could do that. I'm not picky. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go check out this mansion. Okay. We're gonna see. Um, we're gonna see if it's old McDuffin behind the mask of the monster. Yep, yep, yep. Well, you know what so, we need is a, we need a goddamn dog. That's what we need. A dog? Yeah, that'd be sick. Mm, probably so, get killed in our first major fight. You move from there to there, and you go to the mansion that's here. And as you pull up to the mansion, um, you see off to the side, uh, right before you get there, it looks to be a a, a house. Um, a much smaller house compared to the mansion, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and as soon as you pull up, a gentleman comes out to greet you. Uh, this man is the current owner slash curator of the mansion. Um, they live in the uh, old servant's house uh, because they uh, their daughter doesn't feel comfortable living in the mansion because of all the happening happenings that they believe that goes on in there. all so, right let's, but, let's get spooky but he's willing to go ahead and allow you to take a tour of the mansion uh and he'll give you as much of a history on the place as possible as you kind of make your way okay Uh, let me pull up this find where he went just look, a moment look, look at the big screen tv he's got over here big screen tv now that's supposed to be a uh supposed to be a uh, painting yeah no, I, yeah but I they don't they don't have paintings of lighthouses anywhere so i had to make do no, that actually turned out really cool. That's a cool, that's a cool photo. <clears throat> that's a detective. I don't. Uh... He's got the Mona Lisa in here. Good lord! Oh, no, that's probably the not Mona Lisa again. It's it's the not Mona Lisa. Oh damn it! <gasps> we can get we can upgrade our armor. They have armor. <laughs> Sold. That, that would have helped against the Wendigo. <laughs> mm hmm. Would have made aiming our guns a little difficult, but. <laughs> right? Right. So he brings you in and. Oh, uh, clocks shut on me. Um, and he goes, All right. Uh, so this is uh, what we like to call the Seaside Manor or the Seaside Chin. Um, he kind of gives you the rundown, basically a history lesson, much of what you've picked up on. Um, it was built, uh, around the 1750s, 1760s. Uh, it was originally owned by an, a Dutch physician. Uh, sadly, his name, uh, was stricken from records, uh, weren't sure why, uh, maybe a clerical error, error or something along the lines uh but uh we do know that the it had stayed within the family uh for generations up until the end of the last war um where the only living member of this family uh, had passed as far as um any uh... <laughs> room room Right, um, motorcycles. <laughs> it's that season. It's that season. They get, they get brutal by my house too. Um, is there any uh, history of, uh, I guess I would say, clinical uh, uh, incursion? <laughs> Did anybody end up in the nut house from this family? Uh, not that they're aware of. Um, going a little bit in more in depth. The original owner wasn't alone. The original owner had a wife and child, mm -hmm. a daughter, he believed. 
and um, they he believes that they both had perished uh, during the uh, fight between the British soldiers and the uh, colonists, um, and he went into a reclusive state. Uh, but as far as he's aware, he must have had another family, and mm. from there on in, uh, every generation had owned up this mansion. And the uh, the mansion also stayed with the theme of becoming a makeshift hospital during the times of strife uh, here in sure. the States. So obviously this area is not designed to, do they have a, a basement hospital triage station set up? Uh, he goes, Ed, that's been long dismantled, but uh, yes, they do have, in fact have a basement and a second floor. Uh, the basement, I assume was probably used as a triage, as the triage area. Uh, but now it's more or less used for the uh, additional storage that they had. Indeed, indeed. Makes for a huge wine cellar once the war is over. That is true. What? Um, where did the family acquire the kind of wealth they need to stay here? Was it government funded, or, or did they have some other business they, league? He goes. He believes that the um, the family was uh, just originally. Uh, they were just a, the the person that lived here was just some person who. Uh, had moved in during like the big immigration pull in uh, during like the early times of colonization of New World and uh, just happened to either have a good business sense uh, or be a noble of some sort and was able mm -hmm. to just. Yeah. Do Funding as they the upkeep wish. on an establishment like this is uh, quite expensive, I would imagine. Most likely, but it also is possible that because they would allow their facilities to be used as a hospital at, t at times uh, probably helped yeah. with keeping it up. That's why I wonder if it was government funded. Um, can we have a walk around? Oh yes, please. Take your time. Uh, just so you're aware. Um, and, he go, and he kind of starts railing off the uh, oops, sorry, I meant my mic. Uh, starts railing off the uh, list of things that people have claimed that they have experienced while here and that they themselves have claimed to experience while here uh <clears throat> strange incomprehensible whispers cries and screams objects seemingly moving on their own uh the piano upstairs occasionally uh can be heard playing music um unknown scratches and bruises appearing on some occupants uh and visitors um strange symbols carved into the local trees areas and oftentimes uh drawn on parchment uh that is get left strewn about um and that his daughter uh just is constantly at a uh, at a constant level of unease upon entering this building which is why they don't uh house in this building and instead house in the servants building uh, a little bit up the road all right so servants quarters not a haunted this place uh, possibly haunted. Correct. Okay. I will be waiting at the front door for you whenever you are ready it's to like, exit. I'm gonna, his, this is like phasmophobia. He's like, I'm going to hang up by the front door where I can get out. Yeah. <laughs> Ark, where would you like to, where would you like to start? Or, uh, the lights, if the place? lights start blinking, you're fucked. Have fun. Like you wanna you wanna start peeling up all the carpets to see if there's trap doors underneath? No, I just of? wanna sit in the chair and relax for a minute. Okay. I am wiped Sorry. out by all that explanation. <laughs> um Yeah, let's uh search around, shall we? So the first thing you do is you walk into uh what is very clearly supposed to just kinda of be like, you know, the uh a sitting oh, room. Oh, sitting room essentially, yeah, with a the embers are cold on the uh, the embers are cold. The, uh, the it's a cold uh, chimney. Uh, they haven't oh. turned it on or anything like that, probably because they don't want to light something on fire. Well, it's uh, just a shadow on my screen. Yeah, me too. <laughs> really, that's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Um, oh, there it is. It say. just appeared. Oh, good lord. Uh, wow. All right. So, magic like, trick. Like a total magic trick. I'm kind of is this Is this just Spook- a mimic? Spooky, <laughs> go- spooky ghost chimney. I'd, li- I'd, like to, I'd like to search this chest for traps. Okay. Go for it. Good. Oh, I missed it. I got thirteen. Yeah, thirteen here. Oh, what's your skill? <laughs> For check I, tra- I don't know. Is there a check trap skill? I'm pretty sure it's just a spot and check again. Oh well, I'll okay. take it. Well, then. then yeah, you succeeded. You got half success. Yeah, I do good. <clears throat> you successfully finagle the lock, which was not locked, and you successfully <laughs> <laughs> with your cane. Just kind of gingerly open up the chest off to the side, and uh, there's just uh, books and like loose uh, news articles and stuff like that that were just kind of left in there. What's the date on the news articles? Uh, some of it's between 1914 to 1919. Gotcha. Cool. Interesting. Mark, would you like to check the mantle, see if there's any more loose bricks? You seem to be doing good at that. Sure, I guess I'll... You're my loose brick guy. I am the loose brick guy. <laughs> the what the hell? Why did that happen? Well, how what? About... Sorry, that was just a really weird roll, but I got 17. Hooray! Uh, which is another half success. Alright, what were you doing again? Sorry. Uh, spot, you, spot hidden. I was just looking around. You, <laughs> okay. You loosened a brick that wasn't loose. Raw. <laughs> this one's loose. <laughs> one of the floorboards comes up. There's nothing underneath it. Well done. As far as, far as you can tell, uh, this room is just a, a very nice room. There's not really anything it's out just, of the... It's There's not anything out of the ordinary in this room. As far move as move along, tell. wink, wink. <laughs> very fine. Um... Uh, anything yeah. uh anything interesting about the armor is it certain vintage or is it just uh statues or um actually the armor does look um pretty realistic you don't think it's like just kind of display armor you think that well i would assume back then display armor was originally like usable armor not like today yeah get yeah a, right right a factory made one Maybe it was some some military armor handed down a family line or something. Uh, possibly they, it does look Germanic uh, in nature. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe uh, even this one down here definitely looks yeah. like like something a Teutonic knight might have been might have worn at some point. So it, it seems like something an eccentric person would uh, you know wear. Does, yeah. Uh, are, are they just like on a pedestal? Yeah, they're just on an armor stand. They're they're, they're they're on like display armor stands, basically. right? I'm just wondering if they're they're like movable or something. Like I'm, I'm looking for Not, hidden passages and shit. I mean, you can move them around. You can take pieces off and put them back on if you know how. So that's about it. No, I don't want I don't want to damage their stuff. You know, Ark, you just you just taking a nap over there? Yeah, I'm just sleeping. I'm okay. a little tired. All right. Is there is there anything uh, interesting on any of these shelves or? Did you hear that beep? Yeah, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, Ark. <laughs> it might I be a bomb a here. Door. Yeah, well, I saw the door when I was panning around, but it, you wanna? Okay. It apparently you, set it, off a beeping noise, and I'm scared. It might to be. Open it, it. It might have a booby trap. All right, I'm gonna open the door. Okay. Uh, it leads to the cellar. All right. Oh, oh my God. God. Can, can I can I tell him I'm not interested in real estate at this time? You you can uh, I think you can take these guys. Uh, you can keep those guys there. I I oh, believe fair. I put dudes in every one. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so you, just so you wouldn't have to do that. Yeah. Ooh, swanky! Hello, spiral stairs. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Perfection. Let's look around. And quick, because I got a weird feeling about that there's a countdown and we're in trouble. 
It's fine, probably. Holy. Oh, I was going to say, I was really, really excited. I almost rolled a 12, but it became a 72. Yeah, that's that keeps happening to me, too. Let me see if I can succeed us. Uh, oh! oh! Wow. Nice. Another flawless victory. Obadiah oh, fine things. So, uh... You do see that of all the stuff in this place, uh, the most out of place would definitely be this table here. I see that. Are yeah. these blueprints for something? Uh, yeah, some of them look like architecture stuff. Uh, just random buildings and stuff like that. Some books. You've got the... Uh, Wait a minute. The weight there. I think I recognize this language. Oh, crap. I, I don't make gusta. I set us up the bomb. Well, uh, we'll finish this real quick. Uh, are you are are you stepping on a mine? Did you step on a mine? Do we need to swap have. it with a boot? So uh, this is Greek to me because it literally is Greek. Yeah, it's Greek um, to everybody. <laughs> it's Greek to everyone. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I don't know what it says. It just came with a table. I oh, okay. but but uh, I thought we were looking but, at a serious but, yeah. Here. No, no, it, it, no, it, it's not, it. it's not a serious clue, but it does, there, there is a thing there, a tablet there with writing on it, but it's, it's in, um, German, so, hmm. you recognize it at least in, in a base level as it being, to understand it though, you would have to, uh, roll, make a check, yeah. Right. Do we want to do that or deal with the beeping first? Um, I'm going to. I'm just going to kind of position myself by the stairs, yeah. and uh, you know, pay attention. Uh, twenty-three. I might have succeeded at that. Uh, Ooh, German nice. is twenty-eight. I did succeed. Oh, at that. nice! Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. So, uh, it's it's a little broken for you, uh, mm. but you don't. I mean, the what's written there isn't broken, but for you to kind of understand but it's it's broken Early enough quince is the 11 herbs and spices <laughs> it's the, the list the Final. secret is citrus uh but um what you can read there is basically kind of like a um it's just a general like order of supply materials mm -hmm. probably what would be used to build uh the structures that are kind of blueprinted out mm -hmm. on the other side uh just a list of like wood metal nails uh brick um and also uh, other assortments uh that would normally would come to it you, you would understand to be just someone literally just trying to pile like compile a list of shit they need mm, okay. um the uh the globe uh, beyond that, though, is quite interesting. Um, yeah. Since it seems a little odd placement compared to all these other things. Why do you need a globe when you're building a building? Mm. So on that note, you've, between traveling to Arkham, mm -hmm. traveling back, traveling to the woods, traveling back to town, and then finally coming here to the manor it's quite late at night it's very late at night in fact like it's, midnight late it's like midnight so we scheduled this thing really late we're dicks well, I mean, it's a probably wants it, to go home it, go to sleep well no it's a candlelight tour so it's probably like, those, dark those, at like eight o'clock those hmm. are usually done that night anyways mm, and he's fair. he's perfectly fine because the Basically, he's getting paid to do it anyway. Yeah. But, um, uh, but you swear you heard something coming from upstairs. Hmm. Moving around, shuffling. <clears throat> Arca, you hear that? Yeah, it's probably nothing. It's just the house settling. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's an old house. Been here for a long time. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's just the house. There's another uh, chest over here. There is. It's definitely a mimic this time. I was going to say, one of these has to have like a, a sword plus one in it. Right. Um. 
what are we using for a source of light down here? I guess is a really good question. Yeah. Uh, there are uh, the Didn't some of the lanterns. It's a candlelight tour. It's a candle. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. You're ba that's basically it. You're carrying around a torch. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Not a torch. Uh, a, a lantern. Um, lantern. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a torch so, would be unsafe. <laughs> yeah. Does, yep. this, does this globe seem just not to fit in with the other things that are here? Uh, okay. I inspect the globe. Yeah. Okay. Can I lift it up off the table? Uh, no, you cannot. It seems oh. to be fixated to the table. That's interesting. Can I... If you, if you rotate it? Yeah, can I spin the globe? Obadiah, you feel something brush up against the back of your leg. Uh, what? you can spill, you can spin the globe though, yes. What, what, what? The, the ghost threw a barrel at you. You're pretty sure that wasn't there before. I'm, I'm fairly certain this wasn't here before. Well, that, uh, that's right, I heard Donkey Kong live down here. Donkey Kong. Yeah, he, he'd throw barrels at you. He would, he would. Uh... Um, is there anything in the barrel or is it empty? I kind of stand it up here. Uh, it's empty. It's but empty. yeah, you uh, you can spin the globe. Uh, mm -hmm. And as far as you can tell, it's a surprisingly complete globe. Maybe a little out... Well, in our standard now, it would be outdated. Right. But, okay. but from what... Sort of from, from, from time, your, yeah, at really the time, it looks, it looks true enough. It's accurate. Um, yeah. Okay. Does it make uh, any noise when you turn it? Like a combination lock? Does it make like a ticking noise? No, it doesn't quite do that. But uh, you do know that when you touch it, it does feel a little bit lighter than maybe other globes you've touched before. Mm -hmm. uh, upon further inspection of it, uh, as you just kind of like, you know, mess it around, you do see that underneath it looks like a, uh, a sizable hole was drilled underneath. And what looks to be a, uh, a bulb-like fixture uh, that's currently off. To illuminate it. Yeah, it looks it looks hollowed out. Oh, this okay. is like one of those funny things that you throw behind your TV to light it up for the movies. Can is oh. do I see any way to to turn the light on? Or or it, is... uh yeah, there's there is a like a there's like a little bit of a switch that's okay. connected to what looks to be a uh, Jerry rig battery that's kind of uh, you got you got to the bottom of the oh. table. All right, yeah. flip it. Okay, it turns it on. And the uh, all of the continent of the um, of the globe uh, start to kind of project out uh, mm -hmm. onto the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are uh, some of them though. Uh, they're like their borders are seem to be like a little bit more defined. Like those areas are were left thicker on purpose, mm -hmm. right. so that way you can kind of see. Even uh, as they're projected out on the walls, like the borders of each right. uh, nation per se is like d divided or uh, just defined, right. I should say. Very interesting. Ark, would you would you do me a favor and rotate it very very slowly around? Okay. And we'll see if it, if it illuminates something on the wall, a particular pattern. Right. I don't know we'll if these do a slow like shadow play and like just you know. And okay. I, I'm I'm holding it by Antarctica on the bottom. So I'm not putting my hands in front of anything. Gotcha. <laughs> so as it kind of turns, turns dog. <laughs> Wanna see my alligator? <laughs> You're the rabbit. You're the bird. <laughs> but uh as you slowly kind of rotate it around, <clears throat> uh right back here on this wall. Uh, you see what uh, when it reflects uh, on the wall, like one part of it reflects on the wall. There is almost kind of like a mirrored engraving to that light that uh, that it kind of connects to. Or hold, hold right there. Okay. Come check this out. Based on based based on your worldly experience, like knowledge, um, the outline is of Germany. Um, Fatherland. But the uh, but there is a similar carved outline 
in the wall that matches with the light. Okay, oh, and can, I light, the can I line it up? Yes. I'm going to line up Germany with the uh, outline on the wall. All right. Uh, the National Anthem starts it, playing. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know where that is. Um, it's just as favorite but yeah, toy. So, yeah, so right now it's it's perfectly matched up, and you're just looking at what would be a perfectly matched up uh, thing on the wall. I'd like to I'd like to foolishly press my hand against the wall and hope the trap door doesn't open up. Okay, uh, you touch the part where the Germany part is, um, but uh, it's not pushing in. But as you kind of like move your hands outwards, so like the outer board borders right. of it, the you could feel that it can be pulled out. Ooh. Um. My pull-out game is strong. Let me give it a tug. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you tug this chunk of uh, rock out in the shape of Germany, um, and behind it is a lever. Oh, oh, oh. Dr. Jones, you want me to pull a lever? <laughs> Your racist stereotypes aside, go right ahead. All right. You pull it, and then you hear... With uh, the so- the sound of um, pulleys and uh, like gears turning uh, that seem to be rumbling through the wall itself, and then over here you can see uh, a small doorway shift open. Hmm. Thought those boxes were rather conveniently placed. Right. Um, Shall we? All right. After you, sir. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, ye. <laughs> this might take a second. Yep. That's fine. Mm, got lovely calm waters to look at while I'm. Yeah, about yeah, it. and not horrifyingly creepy music. Mm. Um, I mean, I could turn that back on as soon as it's done loading. <laughs> Arc, I, uh, I, I get that feeling that we're going to get eyeball deep in something again. What gives you that idea? Seems to be a, a, a bi-weekly thing. Oh, no. Ah! Yes, <laughs> Did oh, I call it or what? no. Oh, my God. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, no, it's not fine. <laughs> if it ever lowers in, it'll be fine. Your your, yeah. your ping's only nine hundred. Don't worry about it. Finished building. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you lied. You're a liar, and you know it. <laughs> Tabletop simulator. You lying. You lying hard. Wait, what the hell happened? <laughs> this this is the most jank load I think I've ever seen. Uh, how do I how do I force it to reload? Is there a way to do that? Let me try thinking oh, it. There you, there you go. Yeah. yeah, look at that. It's filming yeah. nice. Boobity, 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 boobity. Bum, 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 bum. I'll have to remember that because we run into that in Shadowrun every once in a while, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just it just got to sync it, I think. It doesn't always work, though, just so you're aware. Right. Well, it's always worth a shot. Right. I have a giant black square on my screen. As How about you? do I. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It says loading. It still says loading. There's well, the music. That that black screen is on... Uh, that black uh, square is on purpose, so... Oh, gotcha. Just, I... I'm going to uh, dial the music down just a touch. It's a little loud. It's a lot of loud. <laughs> there we go. You hear this loud music? <laughs> you hear that loud music? I hear that loud music. Also, my lift height is way too high. I got Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you follow a path, a, a very narrow path down, and then it opens up to here. And you see a lot of scattered barrels, some of them broken, some of them enclosed with who knows what. Can I tell what was in them? Yeah, I was just going to ask that too. Good call. Uh not really no because whatever was in them is no longer in them well yeah but it means they're like gunpowder residue is that smell like say, fish in there nothing but empty barrels this is donkey kong's house 
<laughs> I did literally nothing but empty barrels. Maybe this is some sort of underground barrel factory and there's nothing I mean, scary at all. Maybe you find a little food residue, like like preservative residue and stuff like that. As you walk into what very clearly looks like a mess hall of sorts, you see a lot of that. Uh, but everything looks just empty. Like, as if uh, there was stuff in it, but no longer. Uh, right. Are these torches, like, freshly lit, or...? Uh, no, these torches technically aren't here. I just didn't have time to literally go through every single fucking one of them. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I was, just, I was just wondering if this is, like, recently occupied, I guess is what I'm asking. Uh. Oh, good God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now would not be a great time for that, I'm just saying. I guess. You saved those bits to bail our ass out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe me, I'm, I'm, I, I have channel points too, and I'm going to use yeah, I know. Damn it. No, you're not allowed to use channel points to save your own ass. You have to use them to save me, and I'll use mine to save you. <laughs> All right, deal. Sold. I'm in. No. No cheatsy. I'm doing it, um, damn it. <laughs> if somebody summons Cthulhu, I'm freaking doing it. Uh, um, it won't save you. That's fine. It's, yeah. <laughs> Do we, uh... Every hull, every barrel, every chest, every crate... It's empty. Empty. Some kind of underground um, barrel-making factory. Everything's fine. Um, I feel like we're getting close to something. Maybe. And I'm scared. Because it always seems to be this room over here where we keep getting screwed. Um... Do we hear anything? Can I do, a, like, a listen check? Sure, go for it. I'm on the wrong on. side. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side. Uh, listen. Ah! I heard nothing. 32. What? I got a chance. What? Not if I roll like that. Nope. I did the same thing. We don't hear a goddamn thing. Like, what? 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 Ah! Right. Music's too loud. What? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, fuck it, let's blindly carry on. No, I didn't want to do that. Yes, we do. I mean, it's not like there's some sort of horrifying cathedral in here. Yeah, with a giant statue of some pissed off elder god. Oh my god! The hell is that? Hey, do we. Do we make a fucking sanity roll? I mean... You do. Yeah! The moment your eyes meet this statue, There's... or you at least ho you hope it's a statue. It's supposed to be a small bar relief. It's not supposed to be a giant monolith. God go damn it. Go ahead and roll sanity. Oh, no. Uh... What do I gotta roll for sanity? Your current what? sanity. Oh, okay. Well, I have 83, so I mean... Uh, I got a half success. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got 45. You succeed. Okay. Alright. Alright, so you both managed not to shit yourselves. Uh, <laughs> Thanks I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind taking a bathroom break, though. I mean, this is terrifying. But what you see before you is something that you just cannot simply comprehend. And the longer you look at it, the more you want to run in the opposite direction from it. But there is other thing. There is this yeah. in the middle yeah. of the room. I'm going to check. There... I'm going to check this out and turn my back on the thing. Gotcha. I, even I even, fa even facing even facing away from it, you feel like a sense of a pull behind you and all your body wants to do is get go the opposite of it as if like your body's a magnet and it's in the op it's a magnet in the opposite. Uh, or the same polarity. Ark, what what bizarre level of insanity could possibly possess some sort of sculptor to make that? I don't know, but this parchment on the thing here is in Greek again. <laughs> I swear, these things just pop up in Greek. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway, <laughs> um, 
Dead but Parchment I, was left sounds here. Sounds like a first, a few first dates I've had since Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The horrifying thing you want to run away from. Yep, I've been there. I've been there. On the parchment, it reads in a similar language to that uh, of the note you found at the uh, ruins. Um, but it reads, Hup, Nefelg, Fatan, Fatan, Nig, Lel, Alhawanaf, Meglaf. All right. Of course it does. I, I'm not reading that out loud because I, I know what that does. Ah! Can I take the parchment? Yes. All right, I'm taking it. Yoink. Um, I'd like to assess the material used for this disgusting cyclopean horror at first glance maybe obsidian looks yeah. a little too organic though right i mean it's so detailed i mean it is very ornate yeah. very ornate sculptors don't just half ass this kind of thing yeah. i mean there's there's like some passion behind this there appear like to be either runes or something on this side mm -hmm. um could we uh you know you know what i would listen next time next time we go exploring or remind me to grab uh some chalk and some uh charcoal and a bunch of uh parchment paper because so we could be rubbings. taking yeah yeah we could be doing rubbings and stuff i feel kind of dumb for not doing that i i really should i'm a yeah. little I'm a little rusty. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we're too used to that other time period where you could just take a picture with your cell phone. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Uh, who's who's better at art, you or me? Do I have any art skill? I would imagine I have nearly nothing. Um, <laughs> He's got, uh, let's see here, Obadiah has five. You have five. Yeah, nice. We, neither nice. one of us. We knew we would not yeah. be capable. Yeah, if you if you had the paper and charcoal, it wouldn't require a skill. It would just a simple smudge. But yeah. all right. Well, I mean, we we can come back because we're stupid. So I mean, true. Um, I feel like that's really important. Yeah. No, I would I would agree. Can um, we make something? Well, that would do um, a trick. Like, is is there? Um, Assuming these torches are still here, but they're out, we should be able to uh, grab charcoal yeah, from yeah, them. Yeah, but I mean... yeah, yeah, yeah. Torches are, you know, the, the yeah. We could we could use the tip of the torch and. Uh... What if what if we use my jacket? Your jacket? And, yeah, you could use that as a rubbing. Okay. Instead of paper, you just use my your shirt. I'm. I'm... Ark, how closely are you? Uh observing these writings uh from <laughs> exactly as far away as i am <laughs> okay, i'm not getting that close to it okay obadiah how close are you just out of just... i am i am foolishly close enough to touch it um... you you are actually close enough to see that it almost at the base of it like right there at the base yeah. of it it kind of looks like there's a compartment there but it's so sealed you can't get anything into it not even my sweet sword cane no um, I, I I mean, there's probably somewhere you can touch it, or you can probably read the inscription to make it open, but I don't really want to read the thing. Well, I can't read it, number one, but... I mean, you can um, read it phonetically. I, ugh, that sounds like we are really, really asking for trouble. Yeah, that is, <laughs> like, I, I'm like, no, we, we do not, do not read the ancient book. <laughs> How many times <laughs> have I got to tell you? Just because the out outside of the book is made of skin doesn't mean it's dangerous. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what makes you so worried? <laughs> um, I, I, you know, against my better judgment, I'd like to touch the statue. Oh, that's not a good idea. That's, that's a, a horrible idea. idea. That's, that's why I'm going to do it. Not a good idea. I got, I got sanity to spare. Uh, yeah, Oops. but do you have a replacement body that you can use? Because I mean. <laughs> You, I, touch I might, uh, it, okay. you touch it, and it's cold. It's mm -hmm. it's about as cold what, about what you would expect a statue to be, okay. um, and it's very smooth. Like it's like touching obsidian, uh, but it's not super sharp. 
Oh yeah, that's uh, a. Yeah, don't worry a about beat. that. I heard another beat. <laughs> Don't worry about that right now. Uh, you decided to go the other direction. Uh, so I would, okay. I would yeah. like to evacuate. <laughs> um, lick it with a tomato. <laughs> oh, definitely lick it. All right. I mean, I can. And, oh, and Obadiah, the words, words come to. It feels like something's trying to. You know how you get something that's on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. Just like. Yeah. 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 You want to say something, but you don't know what it is. Like, like there's a song stuck in my head and Cthulhu like singing there's a song, it there's a, like a song stuck in your head. There's a song stuck in your head, but you don't know the words and you're not, you're just frustrated now trying to figure it out. I kind of want to climb the statue and I, 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 I know I shouldn't. <laughs> and, and what? <laughs> Do what? <laughs> I, I kind of want to like sit in his lap because you... <laughs> Conrad says, is it help me? <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of wish I had an archaeologist pick so I could chip a piece off and send it out to find out what kind of... Right. Is it the same? It's the sun it never has. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'd like to take one of these one of these tables and, like, lay it up against the statue and, like, kind of climb up it. You know what I mean? Are like, you like, insane? I want to look at the top of it. Maybe there's a button you, on top of the head. You, uh... Find it hard to pull your way yourself away from this statue, but you can do that. Yeah, I yeah, I want to grab, I want to grab, yeah, grab the pew. Oh, pew, shit. pew. Oh, pew. Obadiah, this is a bad idea. I know. Listen, I can't be the responsible one every game, eh? <laughs> I have to be oh, wow. crazy and reckless. Oh, 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 look at you. Give me, give we me could have done, We could have done Theater of the Mind, but that's okay. Yeah, I was going to say, give me a minute. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, Obadiah. Is this, is this OSHA work? safe? <laughs> <laughs> it's ocean safe, sure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, those words, those words are calling to you. Hup. Hup. Nephil Fatagan Fatagan Nug Lil Alwanaf Megleth It only wants you to say those words You know Do I get a prize is what I want to know. I'm like I'm not against serving <laughs> the Dark Lord of the <laughs> Look, as you're a keeper of arcane lore, uh yes, you get a prize. <laughs> I won't tell you what the prize is. <laughs> You've won eternal damnation! Congratulations! <laughs> oh, I mean, better to better to rain in hell than you know, serve in heaven, right? Uh, eh. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> Say it he's... in a funny accent. Maybe that'll make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't understand your accent, it doesn't count. That's right. Why are you cl you're like clip oh jeez. <laughs> he like clipped right through it. Huh. Ah. Ah! I like how Aaron left the screen so you can't see what's going on on the other side of that statue. <laughs> Song that never ends. <laughs> oh god. Oh no oh god, now I'm stuck on here. Fly me away. Fly me away, Lord Cthulhu. Fly me away. Oh, oh, God. Is there anything I can... Oh, good God. And let me see among the stars. Let me show you. I can show you the world. Oh, but now it's on top of you. Oh, no. In Mother Russia, Cthulhu climbs you. Uh, oh dear, that's that's absolutely hilarious. All right, this this used to be a serious horror game <laughs> for like a minute. But yes, there the temptation go. to say those words, those very words, are just they're like it's they're now coming to you, but you you you've got to willfully say it. Right, right. You don't actually have to say them; you can just say that you said them. <laughs> 
Ark, uh, are you are you back? Yeah, and there we go. My webcam refocused. Cool. What did I um, miss? <laughs> have you gone completely fine. insane yet? You'll have to watch the VOD. VOD. <laughs> no, the thing is, is that the way he was angled, like you don't see. Oh anything, no, you can see it. <laughs> no, so it's just like us messing around. <laughs> um, I've climbed the statue. I'd like to search the top of it to see if there's like any recesses or anything that I can push to maybe open that panel at the bottom. No, you don't. But being in constant contact contact with this uh, statue, uh, your willpower is very quickly draining. Ark, uh, I feel the sudden urge to do something stupid. Obi, get off that thing. I, I am king of the world. Now, um, get off that thing. All right. I Do I need to roll to leave the statue? Yes. All right. What do I need to roll to leave the statue? This beautiful, supple, handsome statue. I love this uh, statue. I think power? Power? No, kind, no. Kind of, no, probably the constitution maybe? Or a, I have health, I know. Shit, I, don't I, don't know what that, I don't even know what that would be, honestly. Wait, I thought willpower was an actual thing on this. I thought it was too. Uh, There's ooh, magic. Sanity. Yeah, there's magic. I use my Lock. magic. Yeah, you use your magic. To get out of that, work. that might be the only way to get away from it. Um, can I swim? Can I swim away? Can I swim? Can I swim? Um, can I jump? Weird. I, I really can I thought scream at it in German? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what that would be. I do. Well, shit. Um, well, I'll roll whatever the hell the dungeon master tells me to roll. Let me just look up this ability real quick. All right. But yes, you you feel so inclined. That's appearance. I guess yeah. Power is force of will. You just have a shit ton of force of will. Um, I am so a beast. Go ahead and roll power. I guess. Oh god, I lagged. What happened? You're breaking the game. Uh, that, that's a half success. Figured as right. much. You can, if you wish, climb off the statue. I would, yeah, I would like to get off the statue and, and get some distance from it, if I may. Okay, it, it's kind of like, have you ever had those dreams when you're trying to like run away from something or walk, run, and it just kind of feels like you're constantly sliding yeah. backwards as you're trying yeah. to run? It, you get you have that sensation as you're literally trying to walk away from this statue as if it's pulling to you right even right. harder and harder but those words still echo in your head over yeah. and over and over Ooh, what the fuck mm -hmm. let's get out of here and find someone who can tell us what those words freaking mean uh yeah I got the song stuck in my head but I mean I could don't I could say him don't say him. Let's go. I'm just, I'm just saying. You don't know what it could be. A prayer. It could be a prayer that summons angels. Yeah. Like it could also it, it could like also, angels. it could also turn that statue into a living creature who would then he's bisect got, he's got, us. He's got wings. It could be an angel. It's not <laughs> an angel. So as you come up this uh, hallway, what you think is an escape is a completely caved-in area. I'll tell you what. We'll come back once we know what the words mean, and uh, maybe we can check the book of Aklo that we managed to grab. Yeah, a good idea as well. Yeah, um, but uh, definitely do not want to stay in that room with that statue any longer. Let's get out of here. All right. Let's let's leave. We still have the upstairs to search. Don't forget that. that that's true. You did. Excellent. You did notice that. Can we uh, leave these on, guys uh, here, or these? I, yeah. I I think I have to roll my swim. You can, no, you can take the, you can take these guys with you. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Yay, I'm just now a baby. We have arcs. Comes the lag. Augie, your chanting it in tabletop simulator chat and the Twitch chat is not gonna make us. <laughs> I don't know. It's getting more and more tempting. <laughs> 
I'm about to DM you it. <laughs> <laughs> he starts sending it in text. Messages. Oh no, I was disconnected. Oh no, so was I. Oh, oh face. no. Oh, you feel on play with uh, you, see, you see those words were uh, uh, they they were uh, <laughs> better latency. That's right. He's, You've he, activated the self-destruct sequence. He, he sent them to Tabletop Simulator. All right, well, let me just turn that off and join the game. I'm waiting it. for it to realize that it's closed so I can reopen it. There it is. Are you still up, Augie, or did you drop too? No, I'm here. Oh, okay. It just decided it didn't like you guys. I'm For one, just, for one reason or another. Fair enough. Do, 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 do. Arc, please. <laughs> Just, just, just stand still. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, and there we go. Back up again. And hello. All right. Well, we know how to get back in here. Should we? Should we barricade this? We could use all these empty barrels. I was uh, just thinking isn't... about pushing these sets of boxes together so that they are. This flushed. isn't happening uh, as you're in here, by the way. This this happened. Right, oh, while we were so down when, in there. So when yeah. we came back, we found all this stuff thrown around. Yep. Hmm. All right. Okay. So I should so I should push the lever back in and uh, cover it back up. Yeah. Once you yeah. do that, it'll close back okay. up. Okay. All, all right. right. Let's let's do. And that then right the now. ceiling spikes come out and it starts lowering. <laughs> he's still Arkham. up because he said the words. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ghost Adventures, Arca, that I don't, shit. I don't stay all this. night and just yell at the statue <laughs> until something happens. <laughs> just it's angrily like, shouting at the statue. At the statue. It's like four in the morning. Come I got on, bags under my come eyes. Come on, come on. <laughs> Why won't you wake up? <laughs> Do something. All right. Yep. So it's closed back up. Right. Everything's mm -hmm. put. But as you come, but as you take a look around. Uh, yeah, it's a lot messier than it was. Um, I, don't, I don't recall these barrels being strewn about. Hmm. You think the ghost is uh, good enough to clean up after itself? I mean, it's not our stuff, so I don't care if they leave a mess, but I, I'd hate to be blamed for it. But yeah, let's... Uh, let's right, you can uh, leave those guys there. We just go up these stairs here. No, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't want to play my fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird. You guys are set it way the fuck over there. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, uh, well, it's still loading in for me, but yeah. There he is. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, you notice now, besides your lanterns, there is no other sources of light in the building. Mm. All right. That's fantastic. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll my way there. Apparently. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. It's uh, time to head it upstairs. Yep. Is it? All right. <laughs> I mean, go ahead. Go ahead and do a quick spot hidden. You can. All right. I probably can't, but. No, I can. Uh, mm. Just barely, as a matter of fact, thanks to the two points I got uh, earlier today. So yeah. Uh, uh, the the gentleman is no longer at the door. Okay. That's a problem. We should check on him before we do anything else. Ark, if I may just point something out very small. What's that? Um, only because of the things we've been running into <clears throat> since we started this whole campaign. Mm. Um, we have lanterns and everything else is completely dark. Which makes us very obvious in the dark. Would it be crazy to dim the lanterns or put them out yes because then we okay. die <laughs> well, no, your our eyes will adjust to the dark yeah I'm and, saying... and in those moments waiting for our eyes to adjust we'll get bisected <laughs> oh, okay okay no, it's, thank just, you. it's just a thought no it's just a thought thank okay. you all right. i will pass um, what if what if we put on eye patches first what if i we come back during the damn day ah, ah. <laughs> Fine. I we should at least you. check on the the fellow who's supposed to be waiting for us. I, uh, I think when all the all the stuff started being thrown around, he probably left, right? Maybe we'll find out. 
Uh, All right. I mean, the check out he's, he's probably he's probably in the van watching the cameras like these idiots. We'll check outside the door. How do you check outside the door? Get, get, um, how do most people hey. do it? <laughs> but how can you? There's a wall there. Wait a minute. The door is gone. Door's there. Door's and you open it up inwards. Hmm. And uh -huh. there's a wall there. Okay. Uh huh? That's new. Yeah, this is because you didn't say want me to say the words, okay? I just want to point that out. <clears throat> Will you relax? Alright. You know, we almost die every week. <laughs> just wanna Obadiah. As soon as you turn around, you swear you saw someone standing at the base of the stairs. I I bet I did. Uh, uh, Come on. You know, guns don't work on ghosts. I just want to, I'm not an expert, but I'm just saying there's a good chance that guns don't work on ghosts. Yeah, but you got magic, right? You can do stuff. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how to magic. <laughs> uh, as you head your way up the, I just realized the fog of war is still there. Hold on. The fog... There we go. Oh, there as, you go. Okay. Yeah. As you head your way up the stairs, you can go left or you can go right. As you walk past this painting, you could practically smell the sea breeze. In fact, you're that's, pretty sure you can. That's got to be a little creepy for me. Mm -hmm. uh, then the map disappeared, and that's even more terrifying. Oh, good. We're going back to New York. Oh, no. It's back to Rhode Island. Oh, no. Now it's black. Sorry, I have to do this because sometimes if I just jump to the next map, it just oh, it'll leave, fucks, it'll leave it, it just fucks up. Yeah, it nope, fucks everything I up. I know. Believe me, I know. Great map work, by the way, Augie. I just want to throw yeah. that out there before Thank you kill us. Yeah. I just want to say this looks really nice. I'm just going to roll a couple things real quick. Hold on. Have you noticed there's no windows either? Yeah. Um, yeah, I have. I, I have and you're pretty noticed. sure you saw windows all over the building on the way in. Mm. Yeah, well, why don't you turn the lantern up so that everything can see us really well? Listen, all right. If you, if you want to stumble around in the dark, feel free to put yours out and then wander off that way. All right, now I'm definitely hearing voices. Do you hear that, Ark? Yes. Hear what? You don't hear the whispers? What whispers? Um. We. At I least love, it's not a window. Quiet, I love Quiet Room so much. It is such a good soundtrack because <laughs> it works so perfect. It really does. It, it fits really, really superb. So you come to here, mm. and every once in a while, you swear you see something just move out of the corner of your eye. Mm. You hear our thing shift here, a scrawling or scratching here, whispering, just on the other side of a room. And occasionally, what sounds like a piano playing, but it stops. Is it a good song, at least? Or is it just some jerk it's... ghost doesn't know how to play? Like, do they know how to play the piano? It's, yes. Are it's they like chopsticks? It's a very somber take on Moonlight Sonata. Well, I mean, Moonlight, Moonlight Sonata, Sonata was kind of somber. somber. Yeah. yeah. So more somber than that, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> right. Moonlights. But you see a room off to your left that cuts into another hallway, and then you see a hallway down this way that leads off to a, a like an L section. Well, uh, we're not going to die unless we move, so let's uh, let's away into the library, or what appears to be the library, or a den, maybe. And maybe look at all these sweet yeah, scrolls. Yeah, you see, it looks to be like a personal library. Hmm. If nobody's living here anymore, why is there? Why is all this stuff here? Well, you assume it's left there for you know historical purposes for yeah. the tours and whatnot. I mean, I <sighs> I guess, but can I uh, can I foolishly go walk over here in the corner and check yeah. out the? As you take a step past this bookcase, uh, a book falls on the floor. Hmm. 
there is nothing I hate more than ghosts that don't respect knowledge and pick up the book and put it on the shelf. <laughs> knowledge. Not, that would be bad. <laughs> knowledge. And I knowledge. Hate, I hate ghosts that litter. Um, yeah. Can I take the book that fell out? Have a look at it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it it just appears, appears to be just a random book. Um, just a uh, just a yeah. basic architecture book. Uh, okay. There does seem to be a lot of architectural thematics going with the stuff around yeah. here, mm-hmm. you know. But if I was, if I let's say I was an underground society who wanted to carve creepy statues and worship on otherworldly things and create I, underground bunkers. Yeah, well, I I would need a lot of knowledge to create bunkers like that yeah. that would stand the test of time. Yeah, quite a lot. Okay, I, I agree. Um, I'd like to attempt to search the desk drawers. I mean, okay. I would I would imagine anything important is already long gone. But... It's a bit harder in the dark, but you can go ahead and make a roll for that if you wish to see if you can find anything uh, All right. beyond the obvious. Right. Eric, for just hey. the briefest of moment, you thought you felt breath on the back of your neck. Ooh. Ooh. If you're gonna get flirty, I mean, go whole hog. You know? I'm a single. Yeah, guy. I mean, I'm a single guy. I'm I'm here for it. <clears throat> I rolled a twenty-six. Wow, oh, that is a success for you, I believe. All right. So beyond the normal compartments in the desk itself, that has just paperwork, ledgers, all the all the stuff you would normally find in like a right. personal office. Um. You do find, um, kind of tucked away as far in the back as possible, a, uh, kind of a tied off with twine note. Okay. Enclosed note. All right. I, um, I would like to just put it in my, in my breast pocket for now. We'll just, we'll we'll read about it when I have better light. I was going to say, we might want to read it now. Is, does the inkwell still have fresh ink in it? Uh, no, no. No, okay, it's all dried. Can I use the typewriter to save my game? <laughs> yes. But do you have... But do you have I don't yes. have an ink ribbon, damn it. Yeah. yeah. An ink ribbon, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, um, I, I would like to... I would like to take this, this time to... ARC! Yes? to turn around gun out of pocket as soon as you turn around it's gone mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I'm telling you you can't shoot I mean you can't shoot ghosts but you're going to hit walls uh, I'd like to check out this blueprint against the wall is that more architectural drawing yeah uh, did you check the note at all or not yet um, you know, I'll nope. set the lantern down and uh, you know I'm just going to have a goddamn seat right at the desk and I'm going to bust open this note how's that Okay. You go ahead and do so. Seat creaks in its age, as right. do you. Yeah, uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> creaks from age. Um, it is <clears throat> in German, however. All right. Um, I have some German. I'll I'll give it a shot. I mean, it's the only way I'm going to level up, right? I gotta true. I gotta try. Gotta true, try. true. Uh, one right. third of a chance. <clears throat> Oh, what? 34 is not going to do, do it. Do you want to spend one luck point to get it? Oh, there? yeah, yeah, heck yeah. One luck point spent. Yeah, okay. All right, give yourself a check mark. Don't forget that. Yeah. Again, you're reading it. Uh, you can understand most of the words to make out what it's saying, but you're not fluent enough in German for to completely comprehend the uh, entire writing. Um, it, can, am I competent enough to read it out loud? Sure. I'll just read it out loud because I got Ark standing right here who also speaks German. The two of us together can work together. Ignore all the ghosts. We're gonna solve solve this riddle right here. We're gonna read this note together. Gotcha. In German, it reads The key is in a safe place. Simply speak <laughs> the ancient words. God damn it. <laughs> Awaken from the dream. And live with the truth. Uh, mm-hmm. Son of a bitch. 
We gotta I go mean, down and say the damn words. I mean, if it is just granite, we could come back with a hammer and a chisel and just crack that fucker open. You know, in broad daylight, like you said. All right. And underneath that, <clears throat> uh, it underneath that, it simply says, home shows the way. I mean, we can't currently escape anyway. Do you want to finish exploring the house at least? Yeah, we might find more clues. Let's try right. uh, the piano room before we head to the bedrooms. Okay. <clears throat> Doubt we'll find gonna... anything in here, but might as well look. Now we should definitely play chopsticks. Make the ghost <laughs> angry. Dun 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 I I do not believe I have any skills in piano. Uh, so I, I cannot I have well, I mean uh, sleight of hand means I should be able to uh, physically play it, but I don't know about having any musical I'm not so, I'm not worried about it. I mean I don't if think it, it's if, as it, if, if you put it under art and craft then no, five yeah. percent. So So yeah. so so Obadiah Obadiah's over here just going yeah, Exactly. Yeah. I just want to see if the keys actually trigger a door or something. There you go. Uh, okay. So it, it's it's a, a little out of tune, but you might not know that if you're not really that right. efficient. With, I, I just uh, know it hurts my ear holes. Yeah, but, uh, but you're pressing all the keys, and they don't seem to <clears throat> really be doing a whole lot. Okay. Oh. All right, so uh, assuming but as you're as you're screwing around, though, you do kind of feel like there's a presence next to you that's just kind of watching what you're doing. Can you, you teach you me how see. to play? All right, uh, Ark, real quick, what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand and watch and see if the ghost teaches him a scale or two. I want to I learn how to play piano from a ghost. <laughs> so that, you, you, you I, I want to check that off my bucket list. You stop and you say that. Okay. And a few seconds go by. And it starts to play. Arc of me, contact. Just one or two notes at a time. And it's just playing this old, somber tune. Am not I? Any, not anyone you recognize, but. Am I capable of, of like, like, after it stops, can I, can I, can I, Simon says this shit? Try and play the same thing? Yeah. Sure, yeah, you could try that. All, all right. All right, I don't know what the hell skill I would try and. Would that Just, be uh, intelligence? Go ahead and roll. Uh, go ahead and just roll the dice. <laughs> just roll the just dice. It, 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 it would be on. It would be under art. So, art. Oh God. Yeah, I got bad. Okay, so you're following along, but you're stumbling a little bit. Uh, but it doesn't seem to change its like. It'll it'll play and then stop what you play and then it'll if you stumble along it'll play the next part and then <laughs> I'm sorry part. I'm so bad at this and it'll do this for like a solid minute um, interesting until it gets to what seems like the end of the song and then it stops yeah yeah I mean it, it is there like a is there a pottery area where it can help me make a pot maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, do not make fun of it. You just you just got to play a piano duet with a ghost. I mean, be, I'm no, I'm really be, I'm be genuinely thankful excited and that. grateful that it did not try to take your head. Ob Obadiah. Uh -oh. yeah. With Here the assistance of comes. the other of an otherworldly figure, you gain 10 investigator skill in playing piano. All right. <laughs> Piano. <laughs> How many points? Uh, it'll be up. It'll be at ten. So. All right. Boom. I was gonna I'm, say I'm... you shouldn't put it under art and craft. Or, you know, it's you okay. Know, he can. He can. To. He can change it. Uh, right. Whatever. That's. I. I feel pretty damn good about that. If you I. Got I mean, a long if way I, to go I before you Yeah, you got a long way to go before you're any good at it. Yeah. But I mean, now... if I. If I die, I'll die with five more points of piano than I had before we got here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's check out this bedroom. It looks like it might be the master bedroom. 
Uh, I correct. Am, I am just crazy person. enough to have a seat here and stare at the mirror. Okay. Uh, Ark, what are you doing? Checking the wardrobe. Okay. God you open damn the wardrobe? Music, God damn it. <laughs> I love that. I love that music. It's so good. <laughs> I actually jumped. <laughs> oh. I love that music. So good. Oh. You know, we're like, not really like in the, 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 the <laughs> And you're but, in uh, a brightly lit room where you are. I'm actually sitting in the dark. <laughs> so, at the same time, Obadiah, you sit down at yeah. the stool and you stare into the mirror. Yeah, and you I stare want... into it very. And you get that kind of really weird. Um, it's an actual effect you could feel uh, and it spooks a lot of people out but whenever you have like say like a candlelight or whatever next to the mirror and you're just staring yeah. into it your brain is trying to kind of like because of the low light your brain is yeah. trying to piece stuff together so it almost kind of like warps yeah. what you're looking at it's really yeah, weird it, actually it, it can actually work name for that and I can't think of it yeah so that's basically like you start experiencing that so you're not really sure if you're really experiencing is paranormal or exactly what's going on there which or is normal. what it is or normal yeah. <laughs> um but as soon as uh arc be Derek behind you opens up the wardrobe you see what looks like someone in an old old british uniform fall out onto him but goes through him and then disappears as soon as it hits the floor arc oh, does not see this as he opens up the wardrobe though Ark, did you feel that fellow stumble through you? Um, I beg your pardon? Uh, it looks like someone, uh... What, what, do I recognize the uniform since I was in the military? It was, it was, it was an old British uh, uniform back during the day of the, uh, like, when it was just a colony. Like, you, at, we, are we talking America. red coats, basically? Red coat, yeah. Okay. Uh, it appears to be a colonial soldier that, uh, I don't know, I think he just came out of the closet. <laughs> we should be happy for him. Yeah, no, um, absolutely. I hope um, that one got you too, you bastard. <laughs> 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 no, I um, absolutely support uh, the British redcoats coming out of the closet. Um, yeah, absolutely. Is there, are, uh, Ark, are there any clothes in there? There are. They're like old, dusty uh, coats, yeah. mostly. What, no, no, what, no red coat uniforms though. No. no. Gotcha. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna find anything worthwhile in here. Can't have anything nice without Obadiah cracking a joke. To can, make I, it yeah. lighter. can I do a spot hidden just for shiggles? Sure. I got it. Wow, that's a lot of successes for Spot Hidden today. Yeah, you've done a really good job with that tonight. So, you, as you kind of, it doesn't really pertain to the wardrobe, mm -hmm. but it kind of pertains to the bed itself. You notice that one side of the bed is undone mm -hmm. for an extent, but the other looks almost untouched, as if it was made and just never used again. Mm -hmm. Right, like somebody's been sleeping on one side and not the other? Right. Oh, I mean, I mean, do you want to do you want to make this a twofer? Or... Are, are you suggesting we make the bed? He's he's possessed. He's floating over the bed now. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, what if what if we uh, what if we make the bed? I guess. I don't know if that would make the ghost happy or angry. There was a moment when y you were possessed by a statue downstairs, and this is more insane. I, I agree. I, I agree. We could sleep in the bed until morning, and then all the windows will be back, and we can leave. No, if, that's listen, not going to work. It is. It is a the well known GM has factor. made it very clear that we have to speak the words before we're going to be allowed to leave. <laughs> it is. It is very well known that if you are under the covers, monsters cannot touch you. Is there a listen check? Yes. Go ahead, both of you make a listen check as you're <laughs> The yeah. ghost is, go downstairs, jackass! <laughs> <laughs> we need to end this game sometime! Oops. Uh, oh, I think that's... Oh, man. Yeah, I'll spend the one point of luck to make that a success. 
Let's see here. Listening. Listening. 36. Listening. Yeah, you got one point under. Ah, nice. Dude. Okay. As you are standing there at the edge of the bed, mm. arguing with each other, you hear a slight whimper at the door, but you don't see anything. And then you hear footsteps walk mm. this way. Follow. Let me just backflip my way there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ninja Our over there. Hardcore! <laughs> American Ninja Warrior! Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just using this as a placeholder because I don't have any figure of it. Okay. Right. But you see, Jesus Christ, you see a little girl. Ah, fuck. S uh, sitting at her little vanity thing here. Mm. Okay. Humming to herself. Okay. Humming the same song that was played on the piano not even a few minutes ago. doesn't seem to pay you any mind should we should we just observe her for a moment or i was gonna introduce myself all right no go ahead go ahead hi my name is ark what's she, your she's name kinda, she kind of like looks up at you and then you can hear kind of like off in the distance what sounds like people arguing and then she just kind of looks down dejected and fades away Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think we may have just saw a glimpse of the past. Uh, but as you look around the room, it is a child's room. Um, on the bookcase is a uh, music sheet and like things to uh, do with pianos and all that stuff. Piano girl? Hmm. Gotta wonder what kind of childhood she lived up here, you know? You know what, you know what I often wonder? I wonder if we look like ghosts to ghosts. You know, that is actually a fascinating question. And if we weren't right? trapped in this hellhole, I, I would probably pursue that. Okay, we, we, we'll come back and deal with Piano Girl another time. Check the closet. Okay. Check the closet. <laughs> Check the closet. Uh, young girl's clothing. Um, okay. Nothing unusual. Well, that's not quite right. Uh, okay. One other thing that is unusual is the other bits of clothing that you saw in the other closet um, was stuff that you would see like within the last 50 years or so. Mm -hmm. This is old colonial clothing. Like all handmade. Yeah. The stuff you would see in the 17... Clothing. The stuff you right. would see in the 1740s. Maybe she was into cosplay. Well... Wait a minute. I mean, that that does make a certain amount of sense, right? Because the original owner and his family lived here, and then yeah. and then the the wife and daughter died, and then so, at, presumably at some point the original owner died, and right? And somebody else. Well, at, at one point we know that this house was occupied by uh, soldiers. Well, and there's there's yeah. yeah. There's no reason why one of them, like the commander, let's say wouldn't have been sleeping in the master bedroom and that could have been his right. stuff i don't know i'm just i'm but, spitballing here right i mean it, it, it may be important for another time but i'm wondering if i mean was that put there purposefully on display um like as a historical thing or has this room not been disturbed since then you know has no one lived in this room since then everything looks very colonial in this right room. Right. Where a lot of other rooms look a little bit more updated. Or is this an illusion? Are we, are we sharing a hallucination and this room's actually updated? It's actually 2021. <clears throat> all right. Let's go well, speak the words. So I as, have been waiting as, all night for you to say that to me. As you are walking towards the stairs, you hear a commotion downstairs in the hallway. Mm. Uh, we happen to be heading that way anyway. Do, 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 downstairs. Ah! And the giant bag shows up more. and eats you. <laughs> What's in the bag you holding? Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay. As you come down the stairs to listen and you hear the commotion still, mm. down the hallway here, you see the doorway at the end open with a... It's wide open with a bright light and there's a shadowy figure in it. In the middle of the hallway, there are two figures. That young girl and then another woman that happens to be there. You hear two shots from a musket rifle go off and those two figures drop to the floor oh. and they all fade including the light and the door is over there still closed mm. and was was the woman also wearing older colonial clothes? colonial clothing yes i i believe we just witnessed a murder yeah that we did maybe the maybe the previous occupants didn't die of natural causes you know yeah didn't, didn't the gentleman who escorted us here say that they died in an accident? Yeah. It doesn't sound that, like no accident. Yeah. Uh, there was an accidentally shot in the back uh, by a musket. Let's yeah, get that's... down to the wine cellar and into that hidden room. All right. Because I'm guessing we're running out of time. Cthulhu has all the time in the world for us. Go into the basement, uh, then you'll go to the other part. Yeah, the sub basement. Yeah. The catacombs. It's gonna lag again, just so you're aware. No. Yep. yep. Actually, That's... it may load up faster now that we've been there already once. Oh no, because nope. we got kicked. Nope, we got kicked. We got to reload. Ha yep. <laughs> ha. Reload. reload. So I mean. Here's here's the deal, Ark. It if I get possessed by some elder god, I want you to put me down, okay? You got it. All right. I mean, just if you want to put the gun to my head while I speak the words, because I mean, if if stuff goes wrong, I don't I don't want to be an agent of of darkness here. I mean, I, mean, I, I do. If you want, I do, but <laughs> if you want to be absolutely certain, I can shoot you before you say the words. You know what? That is probably that is probably the smartest thing. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I you know you are you are a man of knowledge and action. <laughs> also, if you zoom all the way out, the map is actually spawned above us. Oh, is that why? Yeah, we're and here. and it's slowly populating itself from the sky downward. That's really interesting. It's literally coming from the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure that shit out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, let me use giant Obadiah. Giant Obadiah is not scared. All right. Are we sure we want to do this? I'm sure we don't have much of a choice. That's fair. The game master says you're speaking the words. Bitch. <laughs> speaking the words, bitch. I set this up so you could speak the damn words. Now do it. You will speak them. So you speak the words, Hup, Nafal, Fatagen, Fatagen, Nig, you, you, Why would you ruin it? Why oh, wouldn't no. you actually make him say it? <laughs> I mean, he, he can say it if he wants. It, I just figured fine. he wouldn't. That's right. We, we've said the words. Yeah. What <laughs> happens? <laughs> okay. Come on. You don't want to actually say the words? I definitely don't. Okay. I definitely don't. <laughs> It's it's kind of hard. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. Um, so you open. Uh, so you say the words. Come on, and... chat's telling you to do it. Do it. I would like to rub the statue again. <laughs> I should probably it? be touching the statue when we say it. Why don't you give it a handy while you're there? Ooh, ooh. does he? Can I stroke a tentacle? Is that... <laughs> so I the does chat's does the nuts. ancient one have genitals? <laughs> <laughs> oh god no <laughs> no he has ascended past that, your that is actually what drives people insane yeah. I have seen the nether cock <laughs> he's, he's got a giant <laughs> of the otherworldly the cock <laughs> why do you think it's abbreviated C-O-C <laughs> why do you think the server is called pantsless cock oh my god I thought that was called Cthulhu this whole time I was wrong Kaka Cthulhu. Our Kaka Cthulhu. Can we not? <laughs> oh 
Oh god. Can you, can you tell right. it's late? What happens when the damn thing hears the friggin' words? The the compartment that you saw, that you clearly saw, mm. opens. Mm. Shock. I you know I should have brought a hammer. Time. And inside is a key. Okay. Right? Is it is it the spade key? Is it the heart key? It's the lighthouse key. It's the lighthouse key. Does it have like a little lighthouse on the end of it? No, it has a gem in the middle of it, like an ornate gem in the like the middle of the hoop at the end there. Okay. That looks like the top of a lighthouse. Oh. Ah. And just in time for I didn't us. Didn't realize the clock was timing down. To leave I off knew. there. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Just in time to leave off there. It has been two hours. You have finally gotten the key to the lighthouse. So now you may Which actually... we were supposed to get an hour ago. <laughs> enter. <laughs> oh, my God. It has a souvenir lighthouse keychain. <laughs> and, you are, and you are left with some interesting moments. Yes. A small yes. girl in colonial clothing <laughs> and a woman in, in colonial clothing, both of which killed by a shadowed figure in the doorway that had trapped you this night. Mm. Well, all right then. It was kind of intense. Yeah. Especially the whole nether cop. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's never a dull moment. <laughs> oh mercy. I... Mercy me. Yeah, I knew eventually it would devolve into giggles. It always does at some point. It, does. it always that, does. That, that no matter how hard fun. no matter how hard I try. No no, it's okay. I was I was a little, I was a little concerned that we were definitely, definitely gonna die. Mm -hmm. Yep. So oh, I'm glad this didn't, thing didn't become a elder right. spawn and yeah, you know, crack open <laughs> like an egg. Well, you still don't know what the insignias on the side mean, but without any real way of copying it down, there's not a lot we can do. Uh, well, we'll we'll come back for that now that we can actually leave the place. So assuming it doesn't burst into flames as soon as you step into the light. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll find out. Uh, oh, all right. my God. So that's going to be it from us, I think. Yes. Yeah, it is all sorts of 1030. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Blood Wolf, Hurley Quinn, Conrad, Silent One, of course. Anyone else who uh, popped into the oh, chat? I don't, don't remember seeing anybody else. But if you were here, you appreciate it. And if you were lurking, that's fine, too. We appreciate lurkers. Uh, we love when people come and hang out. And uh, I thanks so much for helping to make this a uh, very special evening. <laughs> I think we can all agree. Oh, man. It was all an elaborate ruse for us to play Consentacle without yes. getting banned <laughs> off Twitch. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That game, that game is amazing. If if you want to watch one video on our YouTube channel, go check out the Consentacle video that Aaron and I played together. It's it's worth every second of it, I promise. Mm hmm <laughs> mm hmm uh yeah so uh that's gonna be it from us i want to say thanks for coming out much appreciated hope you guys had as much fun as we did I uh, bless. i'm big big ups to augie for as always putting together a hell of an episode. dude the maps were tight yeah. absolutely cool yeah it's uh, just incredible the things you guys pull off uh week in and week out so it, it um, is challenging there's no doubt about it yeah, yeah it, it's 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 both a struggle with fighting with tabletop simulator at every yeah. goddamn inch of the way yeah yep. and then uh, on top of that it's planning ahead far enough ahead where we can not only fill a time frame of at least two hours but also make it entertaining not just for you guys but i want to make it entertaining for everybody yeah so yeah, i this, hope this next time we time. didn't get any uh we didn't get any channel points um redemptions this time around i was hoping for a couple a few times, especially when uh, they initially went to the first statue. They wanted to watch us suffer. Yeah. But uh, but hopefully uh, they get a little bit more brave with that and 
help me out. Save, yeah. We save them up. Because what comes next, you guys are going to want to be part of this. So. Yeah. And, and I promise you the Shadowrunners are going to need a little bit of help, too. Yeah. So I will put together a really uh, – I'll, I'll put together something and put it on the Discord channel so you guys can see what all the channel points do. And uh, working on a bits version of it also so everybody can participate in watching us, you know, suffer and have fun. <laughs> All right. So uh, we'll see you back here for Sunday for uh, Board Games and Chill. Hope you guys come for that. Uh, and then we'll be back next Thursday for Shadowrun. Shadowrun. Uh, the heist continues. The heist continues. Um, and uh, fingers crossed that we survive that as well. But who knows at this point? Mm -hmm. um and meanwhile i've been pants to saren uh these guys have been cj and augie and we're saying good night take care of yourselves we'll see you guys next time good night everyone good night